Welcome to my channel. This has uh, been a long time coming. I have been trying to put things together to do this for a number of months now. And even though uh, here lately I have had the equipment that I needed, um, maybe for the last three weeks or so anyway, this is still quite a scary little proposition for me. I am uh, not one to be in front of the camera. I don't like to be, um, to be this guy. <laughs> um, it's interesting because as a teacher, I don't mind being in front of a classroom. <clears throat> as, uh, as an educator, I don't mind being in front of a room filled with other educators to talk about uh, things that, that I am, uh, I'm good at training on. But this, one-to-one -one with the camera, uh, this is a bit daunting. So my, uh, my hat goes off to all the people who have done this before me and to encourage all those who come after. Um, you know, I, I'm, uh, I read a little bit of, of Seth Godin, and Seth Godin uh, talks about the fact that at some point you have to launch. And so today is my launch. Uh, am I ready? <laughs> I'm beyond caring about being ready. So <clears throat> what is this going to be? Well, I'm trying to put together a channel as an amateur photographer to talk about amateur photography. I follow a lot of photography channels on YouTube. I follow a lot of photography blogs through my Feedly account. And they're all really, really good. Uh, and they give a lot of really good information, but they can be a little daunting sometimes because they've got full frame cameras, they've got thousands of dollars in a single lens, uh, they're shooting from the top of a mountain somewhere in the Alps, um, they're traveling the world showing you the most wonderful places to photograph. Um, and some are in the busiest cities, uh, street photography in New York or Los Angeles or Atlanta and they they create beautiful things and they give you a lot of really good information and you know what I what I find a lot of times is because even though I don't really have a niche of photography landscape photography is probably my favorite thing to do partly because I love the scenery and partly because I'm not around other people <laughs> um, but as I follow photography and landscape photography on YouTube, I find that there are people who go out, they, they go to a location, they walk around a little bit, they find the composition they want, they set up their camera, they take one picture, got it. That is not me. Um, and I think that's not most amateur photographers. So I am a work in progress. I am not an expert. My, my pictures are not great. Um, you're not going to find my pictures winning photography competitions yet. Uh, you're not going to find my pictures hanging in a museum or an art gallery yet. But what you are going to find is a man on a journey. And so I hope in this channel that we can look at um, what to do when you don't have a lot of money to invest and how can you use what you have to make the best images you can how do you go about editing those images to where you like them? Doesn't matter if anybody else likes them or not. Uh, and, and what are the limitations that you have based on the equipment that you're using? For instance, I am using a Canon 70D. It is a crop sensor camera. It's not a full frame. Um, it's a bit old, long, a, little, a little bit long in the tooth at this point, technology-wise. Um, but it takes great pictures. It takes sharp focus pictures if my eyes can see the focus. That's another battle. What it will not do is take great pictures in low light if I'm shooting handheld. Um, so if I'm shooting a landscape, photo a landscape photo on a tripod, I can set my ISO you know, at 100 and not worry about the fact that the, that the uh, aperture is at you know f11 um, and the shutter is going to stay open for 15 seconds that's irrelevant it'll take a really good picture but if I'm walking around in a shadowy area and I have to go up above ISO 800 this camera is not going to do the job it doesn't matter how fast the lens is if I have to go up above 800 ISO 
I'm just going to get too much noise in my picture. So there's limitations to this. And we'll talk about those limitations. We'll talk about the new Canon M50 that I'm shooting this video on and compare those two cameras. Not necessarily because one's better than the other, but one has a, a, a much newer sensor, much more um, up-to-date technology. And it'll go up to ISO 4000 or above and not have very much grain in it. So we'll talk about those kinds of things. We'll talk about lenses. We'll talk about um, places to go shoot. We'll, we'll try to show you some places around here. I live in Chattanooga and there are wonderful places to shoot within a day's drive of here. We'll try to do that. This channel is going to post, I hope, a video. That's my plan. Hope to post a video once every two weeks. So twice a month. Uh, because I do work a full-time job and I do have other things in life that I have to get accomplished. And so my hat's off to those people who are making a living on YouTube and posting video every day or three or four times a week. More power to you. That is not my aim here. My aim is just to have a video channel for amateur photographers. Now, what I would like to see, if you're an amateur photographer and you're doing something different than what I show on the video, then please, by all means, put that in the comments. Tell, show me, show everybody else another way to do what I'm doing because what I'm doing is all self-taught. Um, if you're a professional photographer and you happen to drop by, feel free to critique. Um, tell me where I've gone wrong. Tell me what I can do to improve. Everybody else watching the channel will appreciate your comments. Um, I hope that everyone will uh, stay kind, uh, but I expect uh, some comments not to be so kind. That's okay. That's social media. Um, I hope that you enjoy the channel and the next time we meet, we will get into some, some more technical information about photography and start to look at equipment and those kinds of things and, and how they can be used and utilized for uh, the best pictures that you can possibly take. Because really, all that matters is what do you think about your pictures. Doesn't matter what I think about them or what a professional photographer would think about them. If you like them, if you're happy with them, if you love them, that is all that we're going to try to get to in this channel. So I hope to see you again soon. Until then, make sure that you enjoy some coffee, relax a little bit, chill out. Life's too short. See you next time.